hi great youtubers welcome back in today's video i will share with you how i program my diy arduino plc with visuino visuino is a powerful and easy to use visual programming platform for arduino and many other development boards let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new video. Okay, this is the first version of my Arduino PLC board. It has six relays for output. It has a nano. We have the driver chip and then we have the power supply. Six digita input, three digita or analog inputs and then two analog outputs. Good. I designed it using Proteus 8. And then we have the schematic drawing right here, the inputs and then outputs. We have the PCB design and then we have the 3D of the board right here. If you would like to create one of this board, the link of where the files are located is provided in the description below. Okay, to download and install Visuino, go to the website, click on the download. And then you scroll down and then we have the download to download the standard. You can also download the professional. This is the software. I've already downloaded it. Right click and then run as administrator. The installation is pretty straightforward. And then we have the icon of the software. I double click on it to open it. And this is how the interface looks like. We have the movement, how you can move the board using this particular portion. And then we have the board interface right there. This part is indicating to us we are using the free part of the software, which allows only 20 components. If you want to use the full version, you can use the trial key by creating an account at their website. For this tutorial it's okay for us to use this one we connect our board to our P pc and now we can select a port our port is port 5 and then we select a board we are using the nano board so i change the board from uno to nano i click ok we now see how the board looks like we can just scroll down and then we can see the full version of the board Okay, great. We can do that easily using the pause generator. So I set for pause generator, I drag it onto the canvas and then connect it to pin 6, which is linked to relay 6 on our board. We can change the frequency right here and I click on upload and then open to monitor the upload procedure. Okay, uploading done, and we can see that our board is flashing. You can see how easy it is to just create a blinking sketch. We now move forward and then blink other two relays. I connect to relay 5, which is on pin 7, and then relay 4, which is on pin 8. I change their frequencies. I change this one to 0 0.5 to flash a bit slower and then I change this one to 2 to flash a bit faster I click on upload and now monitor the upload info we can see how the board is flashing now working perfectly and very easy to achieve now let's try and see how we be able to activate the relays with an input signal so simply you connect this which is our pin 2 to relay 7 and then pin 3 to input pin 8. Okay, we compile and then we download or upload. And now we can see that our relays are already on because our input signals are pulled up. And when I activate it goes off 
activate the next one it goes off as well working perfectly but now let's try and add a bit of logic so that we invert the signal for the relays to remain off so we activate them for them to come on so i delete this portion and delete this section as well and then i bring a not gate connect it to the input which is two and three and then the output sent to relay five and four which is seven and eight i click on upload and then we can monitor the output okay uploading done and we can see the relays are off and now activate it i connect to 12 volts and then send to input 3 and we can see the relay coming on input 4 the relay comes on as well it's working perfectly great we'll now try and add a bit of logic so that we'll be able to turn the flashing of the relay or the led off i add an and block and then connect to input 4 and then i position the pulse generator and connect its output to the second pin of the analog of the and block and connect the output to pin 6 downloading done and now we can see that it's flashing because it's active high or let's say pull up when i turn it off we can see the pause stops working perfectly viewers we've been able to program our diy arduino plc with visreno and we can see how easy it is see you in the next tutorial bye bye